Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I bought a skill roto hammer, model 731. It's a two and a half inch. It's a big one. Uh, I'm having a little trouble finding information on it, but I did uh, have a couple of places that I wanted to call. So I'm going to get a hold of those guys. But in the meantime, I'm going to clean it up. Then I'll give them a call once I've got it cleaned up and you guys can listen in on the conversation. I've got the majority of the body on this unit cleaned. I do need to clean up the rest of this chuck and a few spots on, on the rest of the body. Then I'm going to start trying to find some uh, screws that I can use to match up. I'm just using Grease Lightning, which is a degreasing cleaner. And the toothbrush does a nice job of getting the dirt out without scratching the paint off or ruining any labels. Which, at this point, I'm trying to figure out any information I can on this drill. Because I'm having trouble finding a manual on it. Now, there's one place that says if I sign in and join up, then I can get a manual. And it wants to add things onto Chrome, and I really don't like doing that. That's never been a good process for me. Usually ends up with me getting spam email up the wazoo, and I'm just not willing to put up with that. Now this particular piece here should disassemble, but I don't know exactly how it does. So I'm going to be looking at that while I'm cleaning it. See if I can figure out exactly... Ah, there's a snap ring. See, when you get the grease out of there, then you can start seeing things. A little clip ring in there. Now, I'm still in the cleaning phase. I'm not going to be doing any disassembling until I get the dirt off of it. That way I got a good shot at getting it apart without damaging anything. And I don't need to take this thing apart right at this moment. What I am missing is a couple of screws and I want to take those out to see how they work. Now I've never worked with one of these skill rotary hammers. I've used Hilties, but I never had to do any work on them because they were rented. If they broke, take it back. Now from what I can find, this is supposed to be lubricated regularly. It's supposed to be using 10 weight heavy duty oil. Kind of a contradiction in terms there. Ten weight is pretty light viscosity. I haven't seen anything where it says where to put the oil. I would think it would be something that would be pretty self-explanatory, like oil here or something. But the label says refer to the manual, and the manuals are thin on the ground. And if I am forced to it, I have taken things apart without a manual before. It's not a success prone method. So I don't prefer doing that. Now this bolt here is supposed to lock a rod in to act as a depth stop. I don't think it's seen much use. Now 
This little pick I'm using is a broken off center drill. Nice hardened tool steel. Holds up well. And I can grind it off to fit whatever size hole I need to work with. But this point that I've got on there now is fairly fine. It seems to work pretty well with almost everything I'm doing with it. So I haven't had to change it since I've done it. Now this thing here, there's a label on there that says adjusting clutch. I can't read what the label is. And I haven't found anything online to tell me what it is. So I'm looking, but I haven't found anything yet. Okay, I see there's a screw missing here and here, and I want to find out what screw size it is, so I imagine if I take one of these out, I'll be able to tell what size screw it is. And I should have a replacement for that screw. Now, seeing how all the rest of the bolts on this thing are socket head cap screws, I would think that these should be also. Now it does mention that there's a skill service center in Grand Rapids. Yeah, this thing hasn't been greased in a coon's age. Let's call Skills Customer Service. Thank you for calling Skill and Skillsaw. Please select from one of the following options. Press 1 for customer support. Press 2 for retail and... Thank you for calling the Skill and Skillsaw customer support line. To best serve you, please be sure to have your tool and model number ready. This call will be recorded or monitored for quality assurance purposes. Para español, opina número dos. Well, now we sit on hold for a while. Some interesting facts about this drill. It's a model 731, type one, code 46, 120 volts, DC, AC to 60 hertz. Eight amps, 450 RPM, 340. Thank you for continuing to hold. Your call is very important to us and we are doing everything we can to expedite your call. Please remain on the line and we will be with you as soon as possible. If you would prefer not to wait, we are happy to offer you the option for a callback. This option will keep your place in line and your call will... Skill, skill, star customer support. This is Daniel. I got a hold of Skill on the phone. I didn't use the chat line. I called him direct. Very nice gentleman connected me with a person over at Bosch. They don't make the parts anymore, but they do have someone else making the parts and they sell them. So they have the instruction manuals for some of the equipment. Fortunately, my 
skill roto hammer was one of the things that they have so they sent me a copy um beyond that i don't see anywhere that has parts or a manual available for that um but the original uh company that manufactured this product um you know, Bosch, they still sell parts and they still do all the servicing, so they're required to have a lot of specifications and manuals on hand. Um, so they may have uh, parts for that and they may have the manual for that. Um, but I hate to pass it on to somebody else, but I think that they'll probably be the best bet as far as finding information on this one. Well, that's okay. I don't mind being handed off to somebody that knows what I need to know. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, let me give you their uh, phone number then. Hang on just a second while I get a piece of paper. No problem. Never have a piece of paper in the shop when you need it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be 1-800-346-1111. Okay, three four six four one zero three. You got it. Okay, thank you very much. Not a problem. Thank you. You have a good one. Yep. You too. Bye bye. Thank you for calling the Bosch service line. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality. For tool repair, warranty service, parts ordering, and order status, press one. For general information about Bosch power tools and measuring tools, press two. For general information about skilled power tools and measuring tools, press 3. For information regarding CSP, Berger, David White, and Rollatate, press 4. Or press star to repeat these options. If you're a consumer, press 1. A skilled retailer or distributor, if you're calling about our professional skill saw product line, press which would you like to do? Find a retailer who sells skilled saws and accessories, press 1. Request an owner's manual or illustrated parts list. Two, for anything else, to better assist you, please have the model number or tool available. Please hold. You're being transferred to a skill saw specialist. Thank you for calling Bosch Power Tools. Thank you very much. 
If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.